Hi everyone. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a wear and tear review on my Dooney & Burke Florentine Satchel in the color Natural. Uh, this was requested and I apologize, but I cannot for the life of me remember who requested this. So I'm really sorry about that, but hopefully it will help you out. So we will just get right into the wear and tear. Uh, honestly, I can't say anything negative about this bag. It is absolutely gorgeous. It honestly does get better with age, uh, just like your favorite leather jacket. It just every time I pick it up, oh, it, I just fall in love with it all over again. It is so gorgeous. It still smells completely amazing. Uh, I have heard them compared to your favorite saddle, how it breaks in, and honestly, I love that comparison way more than leather jacket. So. That also makes me love this bag even more. <laughs> so honestly, when it comes to wear and tear, I don't have anything bad to say. She just, this bag truly does get better with age. And the more you wear it, the more beautiful it's going to look. Uh, when I picked up this bag, I got it for 50% off because of the condition it was in. It was completely scratched up. It was completely beat up. And I just, I felt sorry for it, to be honest. <laughs> And once I realized I could probably rehab it and get it to be completely gorgeous again, I went for it and so happy, so happy I did and that I have this bag in my collection. So we will just get right into the wear I've noticed. Uh, you may be able to see with the camera, there are, oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> there are water spots on this bag. I unfortunately learned the hard way that the natural uh, Florentine leather is not water um, friendly, I guess. Uh, if you get water on this, it's gonna leave a watermark. Uh, just FYI. Apparently, I was maybe the only person that knew, didn't know that, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, like I said, they just kinda add character to her. They don't bother me. It's not like glaringly obvious. I do find that they are standing out more in the lighting of filming right now than they do uh, in real life, so they are not quite as predominant in real life as they are on here. Uh, but the leather has developed this beautiful sh patina shine. Uh, she's gotten nice and slouchy and just comfortable. She's like home. You just pick up your Florentine satchel and you're just like, ah, oh, I'm home, I love you. <laughs> Uh, tassels, uh, absolutely no wear, splitting, anything like that. Uh, I have noticed some people will store these with an elastic around them, which I think will keep them from kind of flowering out like this, but I kind of like that you can see the contrast in the green suede underneath the tassels. They're just gorgeous, but yeah, holding up gorgeous, no wear on there. The back, I think, might have some scratches that you can see or not. Uh, like I said, the scratches just kind of fade into the bag with time, and they don't... This is not a bag that when it gets something on it, it bothers me. I just, I kind of like it. It adds to the character, which is rare for me because I'm really anal. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and then the other side, tassels still look gorgeous. Uh, I think the handles, let's just zoom in here. Uh, I think the handles may have darkened just a smidge darker uh, than the leather on the bag, but honestly, it's kind of hard for me to even tell. Uh, whip stitching and everything, stitching is just gorgeous, it's perfect. This is not a good filming angle. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, the whip stitching is held up gorgeous. and. Honestly, I'm not careful with this bag. Like, I shouldn't say that because I'm generally pretty gingerly treating up all my bags in a way, but this one is not treated as daintily as a couple of my other ones. But yeah, just honestly, this bag is so beautiful and gorgeous, and I highly, highly recommend this style. <laughs> uh, uh, zipper pull, let's see. Oops. Zipper pull is still perfect. Nothing's coming out. Nothing is stretching. Uh, if you want to hear, the zipper still works and functions perfectly. It makes a wonderful, smooth zipper sound. 
uh, suede. Let's see, I should back up here. There we go. So the suede, there's no wear on that at all. The inside of the bag also just pristine in there. I mean, if you put stuff in your bag that is going to leak or stain, then, or like if you carry pressed powder and that can explode, I can see how the inside of your bag would possibly get dirty, but I don't keep any of that kind of stuff in my bag. I might bring a blotting paper, but if I get oily and shiny, whatever, that's what I look like. <laughs> uh, yeah, there. I do want to point out this one scratch right here. Uh, when I first bought this bag, like I've said probably too many times, she was extremely beat up and abused. And honestly, when I picked her up, this scratch I th was so deep. I thought someone had cut through the entire bag with an X-Acto knife. Uh, I did examine it really closely to make sure that wasn't the case before I picked her up. And honestly, I've just, sometimes I'll just rub it, the scratch and stuff, and it's lifted out, like, just amazingly. Yeah, up close now you can see a lot more of her scratches. And honestly, they are more predominant, just like the watermarks on film than they are in person. See, the poor thing. Just, she's in a better place now. That sounds like I killed her, but no. <laughs> uh, my home is a better place for her than where she was, the poor thing. So, yeah, like these scratches here were like glaringly white when I first got her. And then just with rubbing her with my hand or with a clean white sock or the dust bag, they have faded quite a bit. And they are under the flap, so I mean, they're not really exposed to the world very often. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, there really isn't any wear on this bag except for better wear, if that makes sense. Like I said, it just, she gets better and looks better with age. Uh, I'll just show you the corners now because that's the only other place I've really noticed anything. Sorry, just getting angles correct here. <laughs> So there is some black marking just on this corner right here. Like I said, uh, actually I don't think I said that, but there was, that was there when I got her. Sometimes I rub it at like this. I don't know if that helps or hinders, but it's really not that bad. Uh, but there's no uh, wearing so that whatever is under here is popping out, if that makes sense. <laughs> actually, when I was looking for my Louis Vuitton Speedy 25, I was looking on a pre-loved site and they had one and the price was really cheap and when I clicked on it whoever had had this bag I don't know what they did to it but this corners like the piping had completely blown out and there were wires like the wires I guess in the Louis Vuitton speedies I don't know if it's the same in all the bags because I don't hack my bags open but the wire was like sticking out in the shape of the corner and it was it was crazy to me. I'm like, honestly, why would you sell that? But maybe someone gave her a better home and will fix her up. But that was crazy to me. I've never seen a Speedy with wear like that before. Oh, the other corner, absolutely nothing on this one. No marks. It's dusty in here. Sorry about that. I apologize. I don't... Uh, dust the piping of my bags, but apparently I maybe should start on my Florentine. Another corner. Oops. There. Absolutely no wear, no scuffing. There's a scratch there, but that'll blend in or buff out or whatever. <laughs> and there's the last corner. Absolutely nothing. Oh, just her shine. And she just... Oh, this bag is so amazing, seriously. <laughs> so honestly, that is it. Like, there really isn't wear. And whatever wear there really is on this bag now, it just adds to her beauty, I think. Just such a gorgeous bag. You cannot go wrong. Uh, I will say heavy. Definitely on the heavier side, this bag. Um, also, it's enormous, so I can put like absolutely everything in here and that 
probably doesn't help to the weight, but <laughs> it's nice that I can put my lunch in this bag, you know, safely secured <laughs> uh, with a book, my day timer, just, and then there's still room for everything else and more room. I could put a sweater in it. So it's so easy to fill up and carry, which probably makes it even heavier. Well, of course it makes it even heavier. That's a dumb thing to say, but yeah, just absolutely love this bag. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. If you're thinking about it, honest to God, you will not be disappointed in this bag. It is amazing. I should also, well, we'll turn this into a reveal. <laughs> uh, but I love this bag so much that I managed to find, popped up on the sale table at the bay uh, just last week. Last week did I pick it up? Uh, my sister paid for some of it for my birthday, uh, but yes, I picked it up in black. And, oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> uh, this leather, I'm really excited to, I've only been wearing her for about a week and a half, but I cannot wait until this leather, because see, it's still kind of rough looking, rough, rough looking. Uh, so I cannot wait until she gets that nice sheen uh, that the natural has now. So anyways, that's it for this wear and tear video. As I've said, <laughs> they don't really get wear to the point that it should deter you from buying this bag and it just it honestly adds the character and makes them even more beautiful I can't say enough about this this bag has just converted me I'm obsessed with Dunia Burke now <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye